All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about image perspective transform and OpenCV in Python. So start off by talking about what is image perspective transform? Why do we need image perspective transform? How does it work? And then jump into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we'll see how we could get this logo here using four points and transform it into this point of view. So what is image perspective transform? Sometimes uh, the name that you'll hear is called homography. Basically is transforming a 3D object to a 2D plane. So here is a picture of something that's in 3D and then we're having like a bird's eye view of this or looking at it uh, normal to it and you get a view like that. So you can see all the letters are nice and straight. So why do we need um, perspective transform? Uh, some things could be for image rectification. So maybe it's for calibrating a camera, maybe it's for planar surface extraction. Uh, maybe you have a document that's been all warped and you want to get a good view of it. It could also be for image stitching. So you might want to combine different images together and you need to transform them somehow to make it fit more correctly. So how does it work? It's very similar to our affine transform, but now we need four pairs of points. So once you get the four pairs of points, we could obtain some mapping matrix that will transform our initial points to our final points. And then this will allow us to um, do the transformations for all the other pixels. Okay, so let's jump into a coding example. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and import some of the things that we will be using. So import OS, import CV2 as CV, import uh, numpy as MP, and then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So we're going to call our function perspective transform and then we have our if name equals main. Inside of here we'll call our perspective transform function. So inside here we're going to go ahead and read our image. So roots is os.get cwd and then our path os.path.join and then pass in roots we have demo images and we have our cute pick onejpeg and we're going to read our image so image equals cv.unread and we're going to pass in the path and do some color conversion cvt color and then we're going to pass in the image and cv.color it's going to be bgr to rgb so we're going to choose the points. Um, I've pre-selected the pixels, but these points will be the points of the that logo that was on the chocolate, um, the strap. So the pixel points is 615 and then 398. That's the first point. And then the second point is 671 by 399. And then the third point is going to be 630 and 500 and then lastly we have uh, 701 and then 487 okay so this we have to put in the data type which is going to be mp.float32 and our second set of points is our destination pixel so we'll just choose an arbitrary rectangle for these points and I will choose 0, 0 for the starting point, and then the next corner, 60, 0, and then after that, 0, 100, and then lastly, 60 by 100. And then our location will be MP float uh, 32. So now we could get our transformation matrix, so t equals cv.get perspective transform. And then we could pass in our two points that will find our transformation. And then image trans is going to be a cv.warp uh, perspective. And then we could pass in our image, our transform matrix, transformation matrix, and our output here, which will be 60 and 100 as a tuple. Okay, so once we pass that in, we can do some plotting. We could do plt.figure. And then we're going to have two subplots to see a before and after. So plt subplot one to one, 
plt.um show, and then we're going to pass in our image. And perhaps we want to see the point. So plt.plot, um, we're going to pass in p, p1, and then we'll get the x values, and then p1, the y values, and then we'll use red points for those. And then this part is going to be repeated, except now we're dealing with our um, second image, which is our trans. And then instead of P1, we're going to do is have P2. So once we do that, we could go ahead and show our image. So if I show it and if I run, we should see our image has been warped. So here we have the logo and it's warped into this uh, image here that's been reoriented with the normal view to this grand logo. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.